First thing we need for our cookies is to process a cup of raw hazelnuts with the skin, okay? That is good. It's not completely pulverized, but it's nicely chopped. It has some pieces that are a little larger. That's fine. As always, I will give you grams in the description box underneath the video for this recipe, okay? But in here I have a cup of all-purpose flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna whisk this. In this bowl I have half a cup of unsalted softened butter with a fourth cup of sugar. I'm going to cream that. I'm going to add an egg yolk and a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that. Add the flour. Mix that in. And we're going to add three quarters cups of these uh, chopped hazelnuts, okay? We're gonna use these to garnish our cookies. Now we're just gonna fold that in. I'm gonna start scooping my cookie dough onto a lined baking sheet. Use a spoon for this if you would like, like that. I got two trays of cookies, guys. I have one extra cookie, so I have 25 cookies. It's gonna obviously depend on the size of your cookie. We're not gonna press down on these with a fork. So we're gonna go like this. And now we're gonna add the leftover hazelnuts. Press them in, okay? We're gonna put these cookies in an oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 162 centigrade, for about 12 to 15 minutes. Once the edges start browning, I'm gonna bring them out, uh, and then I'll show them to you, okay? These were in the oven for 13 minutes, and they're beautiful. They browned slightly at the bottom, that's how we want them. Uh, they will be a little soft when you take them out, but they harden as they cool down. We're gonna let them cool down on the sheet for a couple, you know, five minutes, and then we'll transfer it to a cooling rack. So let's give these a try. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, these guys are gonna melt in your mouth. They are amazing. Oh, delicious. Store them in an airtight container and they'll be perfect for about seven days, okay? Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you soon.